we are going to do today is painting. I'm actually really excited to be painting today because it's been such a long time since I last painted. The last time I painted was two years ago. No, it was a year ago. So it's been quite some time. I've got my canvas right here. And I've got these. These. And I've got my brushes. Ooh, I've got my palettes. So dirty, but it's fine. I've got these as well. Before we start, I want to show you the inspo for today's painting. Since it's spring, I want to paint flowers, but not just flowers. My favorite painting style is surrealism, so I want to combine flowers and surrealism. I went on Google and Pinterest to look for inspo, and I found this picture. This is so pretty, so I am going to attempt to draw this disclaimer before we start i am not an artist i am not a painter none of that i am just a girl who is trying to find something new to have fun we are going to trace with a pencil the outline of what we're going to draw is this a great idea it's fine Oh my god, I did it. Okay. What is that? It, it goes something like this. Wait. Can I? No. 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 Okay. Do y'all know what I was about to do? Anyways. You know what? <gasps> Am I regretting this? It's okay. We got this. It's okay. We got this. It is looking okay. It's not great, but it's okay. This is what I have been doing for the past five minutes. Just little sketches. We are going to start painting. I think I'm going to start with the green. I'm genuinely scared. We're going with this. to use this small one let's do this <laughs> this is fun let's not take the fun out of the experience i'm mixing two greens right now but i actually don't know where i'm going with this i'm just like mixing stuff we have to trust the process we are trusting the process what I have so far. It's not looking good, let's be honest. We've got shadows that we have to add. Dark green. Let's add dark green over here. I'm going to use this one because this one's smaller. I'm going to move on to the red colors. This red. something my niece would draw and he is barely two years old maybe if you look at look at it from afar like it's starting to look like something i would rate it five out of ten it's not that pretty it's not that pretty considering i had a really hard time trying to figure out what to do five out of ten is good this looks so messy this one is also messy but i feel like i like this one the most but as i said at the beginning of the video i am not an artist i'm just trying to have fun and i did have fun even though i was low-key stressed Hi everyone, 
As you can see, I did my makeup and I also changed into cute, cozy outside clothes. But my plan today was to go to a cafe that is only three minutes away from my house. I wanted to just go there and read because I'm starting a new book and I wanted to go out today. But I just checked and of course the cafe is closed. The cafe closes every Wednesday and of course today has to be Wednesday. Like out of all days. I want to go to the cafe today on a Wednesday so basically because of that I don't know what I'm going to do that's what the situation is here maybe today we're just going to stay at home so I want to show you the book that I'm starting I'm starting this book titled The Girl Who Smiled Beats A Story of War and What Comes After Um, I haven't read it and oh, I mean, of course I haven't read it. I think this is a real story based on the Rwandan civil war. This should be great for me. I don't know why but this was inside the book. This book is not mine. This is Gozali's book. The books that I'm reading are always from his shelf. This morning I just finished Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. It was a great book, 10 out of 10. I've been on a reading phase and I don't want it to stop because I feel so productive. I am not on my phone that much, so that's great. because I'm just 10 pages in but I think I still have to get used to the writing and the storytelling style it's not bad it's just maybe I was just used to Trevor Noah's Born a Crime but it's okay like so far so good <laughs> 